Yo, 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 what go on, people? It's your boy DJ Shell and your six cents thank TV. Right now, I'm here. On a little break at work. In a little room, so chilling. I guess, but let me, let me tell you something that happened to me when I went on holiday. Yeah, on holiday. So when I was in St. Lucia, obviously, I drove my dad's van. And I went down, uh, Close to SNS, everybody that knows SNS in St. Lucia. Close to the Boulevard area. It's on the opposite side of the Boulevard area. But, anyways, if I have it wrong, tell me in the comment section. But the big SNS it is. Um, so, what happened? I went down a one way street. Obviously, you couldn't see no sign. If you didn't see no sign saying it's a one way street or do not enter. It's a two-way street. That's normal. So we didn't see the sign. I didn't see the sign. Um, there was a, it was a sign, but I didn't see it because the bus was blocking the sign. They got two signs. One all the way up in the top, which a lot of people told me they went there and they did the same thing as me because they didn't see no sign. And one which is the height of a bus. But anyway, when I turned into there, my... This is next to me at the time. When I swing in there, we saw the police. I continue driving down. Because it still does say one way. So I drive down, he stop. And he's like, yo, stop. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. That's what he told me. First, this is telling me, yes, this is what he say. I get out of the car. He's not like I'm afraid of no police and nothing like that. I don't like you lot. I don't like some of you lot. To be honest, I don't like none of you lot. You lot, you lot use the law and take advantage of people. Try to anyway. But anyways, what they what they did when he told me to come out of the car, obviously, he told me, come here and I see this here on the street. I said, I didn't see no signs. He told me there's a sign on the main road. I said, I did not see no signs. He said, when you come, you from England, I tell him, yeah. He tell me, when you go down the street, you go into a street and all the cars is faced one way. Can you, um, do you not know that's a one way? I tell him, no. You don't work like that in England. He tell me, I'm telling you something, he tell me every. Say, shit. That's how he started acting. So, one time he said that my heart is beating, not because. I'm afraid. Like, this guy is really trying to push me. <laughs> I wasn't afraid, to be honest. I, I didn't care. Now, when he pulled over, there's one guy in the front, and there's one guy in the back. Like, he have his, like, stole your clothes on. Right? And then he wanted to come out with a big rifle, this big thing in his hand. You're going to shoot me. Okay? <laughs> but um, when he was talking, he started swearing and everything, telling me, I'm telling you something, you tell me bullshit. So I stopped talking, because my missus was telling me, don't say nothing. My missus was saying little things, not too loud, but I'm just listening to the missus, because I know if she wasn't there, I'd probably get arrested or something, because I wouldn't listen to that guy bullshit. Anyways, this guy started getting on. He asked me questions like, oh, don't you know when it's one way street? Like when it's, um, when it's your local park, you have to, I tell him, you don't look like in England. He started swearing. And then I'm telling this stuff, he's telling me every. So I stopped talking. And I get, this is how I was, yeah? Watching this guy like this. No smile on my face, nothing. I, I wasn't threatened by him or threatened by the gun. No. Don't care about them stuff there, yeah, man. You have to shoot me, you shoot me, whatever. But when he started doing that, in my head, I think thinking, that's why a lot of the people do not like you. And some of the guys get into, you're getting into so much problem with certain people. Because you think you can just disrespect anybody you want and think it's okay. So this, this... <laughs> 
So this guy tell me, oh, what's your license? I give him my license. He tell me, oh, where's the paper for the vehicle? When I give him the paper, I say, you, you watch it, say, you lucky. I think him. <laughs> I was thinking, this dickhead. Seriously, after that thing, take care. They just wanted me to not have something so you could try and cause a problem. But because I'm DJ, how much problem cause you can you cause? You could have given me a charge, give me a ticket for coming on the wrong way street. But he can't give ticket. He's not the person that gives ticket. So this idiot, this idiot, listen to this, this idiot. I don't know if it's what it is it SSU or whatever they are? I don't care. We was in sold the suit. It's easier to tell me, oh, you take my, oh, you tell the guy, oh, take his license number. Take his umbrella, his registration number. Take his name. And he's like, oh, we're going to send you a ticket to your house. I don't see this guy like, bro, you really think in this England thing, you see your head in it like, you're gonna post me. You're gonna post me to my address. A ticket. How you posting a, a ticket to my address? There's no address. There's no number. There's no nothing I like in England. He couldn't give me a ticket, so he tried to threaten me by saying that. But I was not threatened by nothing. This guy was saying, "I'm not stupid. I am not stupid." That's the thing. But anyways. You can be the vehicle now and go back this way. I was like, I'm like, look at this idiot. So obviously I was reversing. I didn't put my seatbelt on, I reverse. Because to reverse, you can't have see by law, even in St. Lucia, most of the Caribbean countries in England, it's the same thing when you're reversing. You can take off your seatbelt to reverse because you won't be able to move yourself so you could actually reverse. But anyways, I did put my the, the the guys, the people on the side was already recording. I said they had the phone I recording and stuff. And then he's like, the guy still don't put his seatbelt. Baby's like, oh, should I put the seatbelt? I was like, just now, I'm reversing. I can't move if I put the seatbelt. So I look, because he told me to turn right there. And he was really close to me. So I had to reverse a bit. And he's like, turn now, turn now. I'm like, what? I just ignore him, and I reverse. And then I turn. And then I go, we pass back to see if there was a sign. There was a sign, but the sign is like really high to say, no, um, you know, you can't enter that, that turn there, like no left turn. There was a left turn, no left turn. But it was so far up because the first, the one they have, which is a bus level, if a bus is parked there, you can't see it. The one all the way up is so high, I'm looking like, where's the sign? But it's so high up, you have to, to see it, literally. It's not like, you know, well, anyways, there was a sign, so I was wrong. With I understand that. But your police, them police in St. Lucia, I understand why. Not only in St. Lucia, but the Caribbean, even in England, they try to set their powers, the police powers on people, that's why you'll have a lot of problems with a lot of people out here because they'll try to stretch your little power on people, but certain people not having that. That's why when you walk up to the man that's the bad man, it's not like he really want to comply with you though, but you're just like cursing the man, holding the people and acting all this kind of ways. That's why I've been through a lot of stuff with police in England a lot. A lot. Been a bail for a long time. You don't want to know. <laughs> so only that's a long, that's the next video. But yeah, when the police in, I could see how stupid it was. How he tried to use his, his little powers to try and scare me. You can't do nothing but just give me a ticket or fine. And I would have just paid a fine and that would have been it. You couldn't call no points in my thing or take away my license and anything like for going on wrong or wrong street for making a mistake. But listen to the thing. 
A couple of days later, I saw the same police officer next to what they call Dubele, not far from the police station now. Um, just behind, there's a, when you come from that same road where I took the one way road, you're coming back. You take a left turn behind what they call Dubele. Um, you take a left, a right turn, sorry. When you take the right turn, he stopped. He stopped. So I stopped. I was like, why did he stop? There's no vehicle, nothing. And I looked in the mirror and I noticed it's the same police officer, which the one that stopped me. He was looking in the mirror, looking at me, and I can see him watching me because he probably obviously remember the vehicle. And he saw me, right? My mom was in the back. My mom was in the front. I think my mom was in the back, one of them. But anyways. Um, I saw him watching me. I saw him watching me. And I'm watching him and I'm like, you dickhead. Yeah. My mom obviously told me off. Babe told me off. So that gets crushing it. Luckily, I don't, my mom didn't move my teeth or baby didn't move my teeth. But I saw him and I'm thinking, dickhead. That's how much I tried to stretch your powers. Right. He saw me. He stopped in the corner. He just stopped. There was nobody there. Nothing. He stopped. And he's watching in his mirror because I can see he looking in the mirror. So I'm like, why did he stop? Because of the angle he was, I could see he's watching in his mirror, watching me. And he smiled. And I'm watching him like, fucking take it. And then he went. Then he went around and came back to the same area waiting. And I went off to the tunnel. And I was like, that's the same stupid police officer that stopped me. Or whatever the hell he is. Stop stretching your powers and people. Stop using that. Now, right now, there's a case going on where I think it's to do if a police officer kills somebody and all the other police officers are scared. I think if that guy do go down, meaning he do get sentenced or something like that, which I believe he won't, um, but if he do get sentenced or something, a lot of things will change in the police, like the way they approach people and all of that. I make another video on what I think should happen when police police approach people. Among police approach people and how to um protect your rights, their rights and places that hot what what should happen when police are you know called. We're gonna do a video about that to protect us. Because anything could have happened. Like I say, the police stopped me. He could have just fucked in front of me. What he did, he come out of his big rifles. One of them, he come out of a big long thing. Like, that's going to threaten anybody. There's certain people that are not threatened by this thing. I'm not one of them. I don't care about none of that. That's things people see already, man. Your thing then threaten certain. Certain people, they don't care. They tell you shoot them. They tell you shoot them. Because they're just not afraid. Like, you know, that's why... You hear people shooting after police and police, you know, end up getting into certain things with certain people because you're threatening the people and try to disrespect them and do certain things to them. And they won't have it. They won't have it. There's certain people that don't allow that at all. So my things to police, please follow the law. We're supposed to be, you're not supposed to be protecting us. That's what you took the job for, to protect the people. Yes, you have to protect yourself also. But if you're disrespecting people and acting them kind of ways, how can somebody ever look at police and say they can trust the police or, you know, work with a police? They will see something happen, they will never call you. They never, some people will never say nothing because they're like crooked cats, crooked feds, ops. Anyway, people, like, comment, share, subscribe, you don't know about DJHL. Be careful when the police approach you, but man. They don't, they only for themselves. I w I'm going to watch that case of what that happened there with the police and see. That's in St. Lucia. Let's see if he's going to get sentenced, which I believe he won't. 100% he won't get sentenced. But I'm looking at it close, closely, really closely to see what happens. 
Anyway, if people you don't know, like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy DJ Share. I'm out here. Mm.